Hello, and welcome to part 9 of the Mesopotamia series. In this episode, I'm going to be carrying out the plan that I made last episode, which was to make outlying villages around the city-state to work the farmland I'm planning to make, to work the fields that surround the city-state. Of course, I'm just starting off by cutting down trees, doing a bit of terraforming, and just generally preparing the area for construction. Part of this includes flattening the land, which I'm doing here with the fill command, and I'm just covering up the ravine. Although the room with all the camera angles is inside, but I will have a secret entrance to this ravine in the final build. Here I'm also using fill commands to not only raise the ground level, but also flatten the area out. Now, this makes it easier to make buildings on and make farms on, but not only that, it also sort of makes the area more realistic, as the Mesopotamians would farm their winter crops, which were their main crops, on higher ground. The summer crops would be on lower ground, in seasonal marshes. I'm not just increasing the elevation around the front gate, I'm doing it around the whole front side of the city-state. And I'm also gradually lowering the elevation, so that it meets up with the natural level, as there is a natural river there that I don't want to cover up. Of course, there are some cons to using fill commands to sort of terraform, as not all of it looks natural. There are a few sort of rigid areas that I have to fix myself. But once again, like I said in the last video, I'm a beginner at terraforming, and I don't exactly know how to do it the best way, so I'm just doing the best that I can with commands, because it makes it a lot easier, because instead of placing blocks for hours, all I have to do is fly over a certain area and then fill in the bad details myself so that it looks natural like I'm doing here. As you can see, there are some rigid edges to the terrain I've created, but I'm just removing and adding a few dirt blocks to make it look nice. Originally, I decided to only raise the ground level of the terrain that was below water level and only remove some of the higher terrain, but in the end, I decided to flatten the entire area out and remove most of the high ground, except for the levee that held the water into the river and prevented flooding, at least in theory or in reality. Um, removing the high ground did expose some stone, but once again, I used fill commands to just convert all of the stone into grass. Uh, my next task was to create a sort of road that led out of the city-state so that the villagers could theoretically access the outside. Um, in order to do so, I had to build a bridge over the river, uh, and I'm not exactly satisfied with how it turned out, but I decided this design for a few reasons. Um, first off, making it look realistic and making sure that the boat nearby would have clearance to go under it would require the bridge to be almost as tall as the wall, and I thought that would look silly when the wall is just right there. So I decided for a temporary design, and besides my sources on bridges aren't too great anyways. Next, uh, I had to decide on what kind of road would lead out of the city-state, and I decided to just use simple dirt paths. Now the reason is, the roads that would have been used would have differed depending on who ruled the region. Was it ruled by an empire? Well then it would have better urban planning and better infrastructure, like a proper stone road, but if it was just a city-state, then it might not have as advanced infrastructure or urban planning, and besides that, uh, roads would usually be built to, you know, other city-states or other important places, but normal villages probably wouldn't have sophisticated roads, and I'm not building another city-state, and these roads are only supposed to lead to these sort of outlying villages, so I made them dirt paths. As you can see, I'm building the pathway to where I've marked where the first outlying village should be, but before I start actually building the houses and adding all the details, I want to start on actually making the farmland. But if you haven't noticed by now, I've actually sort of scrapped the plans for the canals in this area, because the, the area is already intersected by two rivers, so there isn't really a point when there's already water close by. Now, when it comes to how Mesopotamian farms and fields looked, I had a few different conflicting sources, but without giving away too much that I'm going to reveal in later episodes where I actually have to build canals to irrigate the fields, this is what I have so far. Um, depending on, again, what era it was and who ruled, the Mesopotamians had a variety of different fields and irrigation types, and 
choosing the right irrigation type mainly depended on uh, circumstantial things like how close were they to the nearest water source and could they build a canal close to the area they were building farms in and such. But for this area I decided that they could use agricultural tools to transfer the water from the river that is only a few blocks away. I'll get into the agricultural tools later when I actually build them. And not only that, um, these farms would have dikes or levees to keep the water inside of the fields. Now of course these were just sort of small bumps or inclines to make sure to hold the water in. And I decided to try to pick that with coarse dirt blocks, but it doesn't look that nice. So I decided I would use something else. I wanted something like a dirt half slab, but I decided to settle for trap doors. As you can see, it doesn't actually look too bad from a far distance, although this is subject to change. I might actually dig the farms, and place them one block lower from where they actually are in order to actually convey that levee aspect of the farming. Now I'm starting on the houses of the village. You might notice this first house is a bit different from the ones that I built actually inside of the city state. And that's for a couple reasons. First off, without the shade network of the city state, the Mesopotamians here would be more likely to whitewash their houses in order to keep them cooler. Secondly, uh, the Mesopotamians here out in the countryside would have more access to materials like reeds. As you can see, I've decided to make a house with a reed roof. Uh, here I'm building a road or a dirt pathway to the next village and now I'll be finishing up the final touches of the village here. I say final touches but I won't be adding the details quite yet. And with the village done all there is left to do is to add the final few fields over here. For now this is as far as I will be preparing the fields. Um, I won't actually plant all the crops myself. I'll let the villagers do that themselves once I spawn them in. And there you go. I thought I did a pretty decent job, although I still have to decide on a final design and if that's how I want to keep the fields. And this took around two hours or three hours to record. Um, and I thought it would take a lot quicker, but in future episodes where I make more of these villages, I decided that I will use command blocks to basically spawn in pre-designed houses. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you enjoyed, uh, please leave a like, maybe even subscribe, and I'll catch you in whatever I post next.